Hi, welcome back to Bizjet TV. It's Fab Pauly here, and this is a great episode. We're going to be talking about the new Autoland system that Garmin created. Lots of talk in the news about this. Fascinating development, and finally, an innovation, a real innovation uh, for aviation. But before we get into the episode, I'd like to encourage you to subscribe to this channel and to like this video and to comment below what you think about this Autoland system. Uh, so what we're going to do now is we're going to launch into uh, some footage uh, courtesy of Garmin and also Cirrus Aviation who actually fitted the Garmin Autoland system onto their Cirrus Vision Jet. Now it's very interesting you'll see how this works um, and then uh, at the end of the footage I'll come in and give you my take on all this. So let's get straight into the footage uh, of the Vision Jet with the Autoland system. The story of Cirrus Aircraft is really one of historic innovation and constant evolution. For well over 30 years, we've really been crafting technologies and solutions that define and redefine what we have come to call personal aviation. Cirrus has become synonymous with safety, and our engineers, our world-class engineers, have really outdone themselves this time. They've created a product that we believe is going to change personal aviation forever. I think we all think about the future of aviation and autonomous flight and when's that day going to arrive when I just press one button and the aircraft taxis, it takes off, it flies me across the country and lands at my destination. And we're not there at this point in time, but we've taken a step in that direction. One thing that every pilot and passenger is looking for every time they hop into an aircraft is something that makes them feel safe. We had this amazing opportunity to get our hands on our field demonstration aircraft. And I want to take you along and show you this amazing game-changing technology that we call Safe Return Emergency Auto Land System. Safe Return, very simply, is a safety system where if for any reason the pilot's ever incapacitated, a passenger can land the aircraft with just the touch of a button. Emergency Auto Land activating. So just after the safe return button was touched, the vision jet turns into an autonomous vehicle. Once activated, safe return transforms the screens on the perspective touch plus flight deck to screens that are useful for a passenger. The next thing safe return does is it uses its global terrain database to identify the nearby terrain and figure out the best path to avoid that terrain. And it's not just terrain. The safe return system uses satellite data link to navigate around potentially hazardous weather. Once safe returns identified the potentially hazardous terrain and weather nearby, it then uses information uh, like fuel remaining, winds aloft and winds on the ground to select a suitable airport. And once it selects that airport, it uses additional information to select the most suitable runway. Not only is safe return taking care of the aircraft, it's also taking care of the passengers and it's announcing over the audio system how much time is remaining, how many minutes are left until that aircraft touches down. The safe return system also automatically squawks the emergency squawk frequency 7700, which begins the response of the emergency services vehicles at the airport of intended landing. It's just incredible to watch the vision jet roll itself out onto final approach on the right speed, on the right course, the gear and flaps down with the stabilized descent all set up and of course none of this would be possible without the vision jets auto throttle system so it's been using the auto throttle throughout this entire safe return process and it uses as it slows down and prepares for landing once the flaps are down and the gears down line right up on the center line for that runway and it begins its slow stabilized descent into the airport as it gets closer and closer to the runway the vision jet uses its radar altimeter to compare that with the GPS position above the ground. And we have a remarkably precise number that shows us exactly how high we are above the ground as we're coming in. And just as we get over the runway in the right spot, the safe return system reduces the throttle and puts the aircraft automatically and autonomously into a flare, holds it just above the ground, and the aircraft touches back down to the ground. Once the aircraft has touched down, the safe return system begins pressing the brakes, slows down the aircraft and brings it to a complete stop, allowing the passengers to open the door and exit. From now on, if they need to, with just the touch of a button, 
passengers can land the Vision Jet. Safe Return is this incredible technology that adds another layer of safety to the Vision Jet. And that's now become part of this larger total safety solution on the Vision Jet, which includes the Cirrus airframe parachute system, unique to Cirrus aircraft, which is the ultimate backup. Maybe once or twice in your career, you get this opportunity to work on this amazing game-changing technology. And the whole team here at Cirrus Aircraft has had that opportunity again. From day one at Cirrus Aircraft, we've always been looking to the future, innovating, figuring out new ways and bringing new technologies to aviation to make it more efficient, safe, to bring more innovation to the aircraft. Safe return is a first step down that path to autonomous flight. And I can assure you, the entire Cirrus Aircraft team is going to be leading the way. Well, there you go. So the plane did actually land on its own. It's all needed to be done by a human being was just press the button and everything else happened on its own. It's amazing. Now, I remember the very first time and I, I, was, I did my training on the 737 and was certified to do the auto lands. Um, and I remember the very first time uh, in the 737 cockpit when I let the airplane land itself. Um, it was quite interesting to see that. Um, that the airplane could, you know, come down all the way down to the wrong way and land. The only thing the pilot needs to do is put the reverse thrust in. But uh, in order for the airplane to to execute the 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 auto land on a seven three seven, same on the Airbus aircraft, the pilot still needs to make a series of inputs. What Cirrus have done here, uh, oh, sorry, what Garmin have done here um, on the on the uh, on this system is the pilot doesn't need to do anything. Just press the button once, and that's it. While on the auto lands that you have on the airliners, the pilot still needs to make a series of inputs in order for the auto land to happen. So this is really, really um, uh, some cutting edge and a major breakthrough for aviation to have this system um, and to have this system already uh, on a jet. Um, it's great to see that. I mean, I'm, I think Cirrus are going to sell a lot more of these vision jets. Um, I mean, a friend of mine was telling me he's, he's flown one. It's just a, it's an amazing aircraft. Um, really good, easy to fly, um, and already with the parachute system, it's great. And now, with, plus this system here with the with the auto land, where you press the button, uh, that's great too. Now, um, what is this going to do to aviation? Now, of course, we're going to see this creep into uh, a number of other the smaller single pilot aircraft. Probably we'll see it in the Pilatus PC24. We'll probably see it uh, introduced into the Honda Jet, um, and then it will move its way up to the bigger. Large jets like you know the Falcon 8X, the the the, the Gulfstream G500, the uh, Global 7500, maybe the, even the Global 6000. So we'll see. It, I think over the next two to three years, uh, this system will, will, as they perfect it, and that uh, it will creep into all these other aircraft, which is going to be really, really a good thing. So we are moving towards uh, private jets that require only one pilot instead of two. Now this, of course, is going to solve. Uh, the uh, pilot shortage problem, which we have right now, um, and uh, that's uh, that's a good thing, and it will also uh, increase the salaries of, of of the pilots that are already there, um, as airlines no longer require you know two pilots to fly a plane, but just one. They can pay that pilot more money. This is going to encourage a lot more younger people to get into the industry. And this is one of the challenges that we're having right now with the, with the industry is there aren't that many people coming through the system to become pilots like they used to be uh, because of the high. Uh, the, the high amount of money required to, to qualify to become a, a professional pilot these days. It's a lot of money. And if you take that money and put it in other things, uh, you make a better return on your investment. So that's kind of what's happening. But let's get back to the whole thing of this auto land system. I think it's a good thing. I, I still think um, that the, the, there's situations where um, you need to ask yourself the question, well, what if the system fails? Then what happens? Because obviously what this is, this is taking us down the route of basically having uh, a pilotless aircraft. Now, a pilotless aircraft can be a good thing, but, uh, you know, autopilots do fail sometimes. I mean, I've had the autopilot fail on me a number of times. And when it does, you know, the pilot needs to take over and fly manually, like, you know, the old fashioned way. Um, and that needs to be done. So uh, we will see a series of accidents, uh, but this is perfectly normal. If we look at the history of aviation, um, every time there's been a major breakthrough, unfortunately, there have been accidents during test flying. I mean, the job of the test pilot is to push the 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 airplane out of the envelope. Uh, the engineers design this envelope when they design it and then the pilots need to test it on the edge of the envelope and out of the envelope to see if the envelope can expand 
Uh, sometimes engineers think airplanes can do certain things and then the pilots discover it can do more. And, and during this process, sometimes crashes do happen. We saw just recently when, when they were certifying the, the Goldstream G650 during a test flight, the plane crashed and the test pilots were killed. There's a number of other projects where similar things happen. Sometimes this does kill the project completely. Um, then sometimes these airplanes get certified and get in, uh, enter into service and then we have crashes like that of the Boeing 737 MAX because of the MCAS system. Um, and you may have seen my video on that. If not, you can click on the link above um, and see my video on that. My interview with Captain Mario and his take on, uh, on the whole uh, 737 MAX situation, which here we are. It's almost a year now um, and this thing still hasn't uh, been recertified to fly. So, you know, we are going to go through this kind of uh, thing, but um, it is inevitable for us to be leading now down the road of going from two pilots to one pilot. I mean, we used to have more than, we used to have three pilots on board. We used to have flight engineer and two pilots. Now we're going towards uh, the one pilot cockpit and then we'll eventually get to the no pilot cockpit. So we're, we're on our way there. It's great to see technology uh, do this. Um, it's great because I think it's also going to increase flight safety overall. As as we know, a lot of accidents happen due to pilot error. Um, and this is uh, going to be a good thing to have this uh, innovation in the cockpit, which is going to improve flight safety uh, for everybody. So that's my take on the whole Ultraland system by Garmin. Congratulations to the Garmin engineers. Congratulations to the guys at Cirrus for putting this into the Vision Jet. And I'm sure you're going to sell a lot more aircraft and um, that's going to be good for the industry. So comment below. Let me know what you think on this whole Garmin Ultraland system and where this is going to take aviation. Is it good? Is it bad? Uh, I'd like to see a nice conversation going below here. And um, yeah, so that's uh, really all from me. So I'd like you to uh, give us a thumbs up on this video, share this video with friends and family and co-workers and everybody else out there. And that's all from Fat Pilot Bizjet TV and I'll see you on the next one.